in this class we discuss about the solution of an important problem from the chapter sequence of function book of real analysis author s k mama and this is from exercise 24 problem number 11 and the problem is for each n belongs to capital n let fnx is equal to nx square for 0 less equal to x less equal to 1 by n and is equal to x for 1 by n less than x less equal to 1 the function is defined in the interval 0 1 and we have to show the sequence of function fnx converts to the function f on 0 1 and also we have to find mn where mn this is known for us and from the mn test here we see that or we have to see that fn is uniformly convergent this is the problem now the solution to show the function fn converts to the function f and this is called the limit function so we have first find the limit function of the given sequence of function fx to find the limit function we proceed to the solution one here zero Less equal to x less equal to one by n. N belongs to natural number. So zero less equal to n x less equal to one. And from here we get zero less equal to n x square less equal to x because x get equal to zero. It is given. Now zero minus x less equal to n x square minus x less equal to zero. So we get n x square minus x in the range zero and minus x, where x obviously get equal to zero. Like minus seven less equal to n x square minus x less equal to zero. And from here, we write mod of. From here, we write mod of n x square minus x less equal to seven. And in similar manner, we write here mod of n x square minus x less equal to x. Also, it is given that x less equal to one by n in this range, so we can write less equal to one by n. That is mod n x square minus x less equal to one by n, and this is less than epsilon for any epsilon greater than zero. This is T S I epsilon. If epsilon greater than one by n, that is if n greater than one by epsilon. So if we take k is equal to box one by epsilon plus one, then we have to write mod n x square minus x less than epsilon. For all n greater equal to k, and this is the definition of limit. n tends to infinity. n x square is equal to x. So we first find the limit of n x square in this interval, which is equal to x. And in this interval. 
f in x is x so it is constant with respect to n so we say that in this interval limit n tends to infinity f in x is the function itself because this is independent of n and we say that the limit is same this is also x and this is also x so we can write this is the limit of this for all x belongs to 0 1 so limit function limit function f of x is equal to x so this is the solution of the problem 1 that is we say that the sequence of function f and x converts to the function f of x which is x now we have to find mn here f in x minus f x is equal to mod of n x square minus x for 0 less equal to x less equal to 1 by n and this is mod of x minus x for 0 sorry 1 by n less than x less equal to 1 and this is equal to 0. So we say that fn x minus fx is equal to n x square minus x is mod and this is equal to x minus n x square because of this relation. Here we see that x is always greater than equal to n x square. Now we take this mod as y mod of we have to find the maximum value of sorry this is n x square we have to find the maximum value of this that is the supremum value of this to find the supremum value we differentiate two times with respect to x that is dy dx this is equal to 1 minus 2 nx d2y by dx2 this is equal to minus 2n less than 0 and if we take this equal to 0 then x equal to 1 by 2n so at x equal to 1 by 2n d2y by dx2 is less than 0 so y is maximum max at x equal to 1 by 2n now the maximum value of y which is y max is 1 by 2n minus n by 4n square this is 1 by 2n minus 1 by 4n this is 1 by 4 and obviously this maximum value is equal to mn so we get the value of mn as 1 by 4n because y max means supremum over x belongs to 0 1 now mn mn is equal to 1 by 4n and this is clearly tends to 0 as n tends to infinity that is we say by mn test the sequence of function fn 
is uniformly convergent. This is the if and only theorem, MN test. If MN is tends to zero, then the sequence of function is convergent. And if the sequence of function is uniformly convergent, so MN must be tends to zero. So by MN test, we say that this is uniformly convergent. So this is also solved. And this is the problem 11 and the solution. This is the today's class. Thank you for watching. Thank you.